Okay, set up here for this piece is I have four large caps just full with distilled water. Over here, you can see the first cap is 100% black, meaning I just fill the whole thing up black. The second cap is 16 drops of black. So again, 16 drops, eight drops, four drops, two drops. If you wanted, you could have a one drop. Uh, but this is the setup that we're going to be using for today. What I'm going to do after this is I'm going to take some distilled water here. And we are going to just fill these up. And then I take this little mixer job here. And we're going to mix them up. Starting in the lightest, going to the dark. All right, so I'm going to do that. Over here, we're going to be using Inkies as our petroleum here. That'll be what's on the back of our hand during the tattoo. Over here, we're going to be using number 10 bug pins here. I'm um, not going to be using standard needle, but bug pins for this. We're trying to go for a little bit of a softer look. So we have a 23 curved bug pin mag. This is a 15 curved bug pin mag. And when I say bug pin, I'm referring to number 10, not number 8. And uh, here we have a number 5 round liner in a bug pin as well, in case you wanna do some like stempling and whatnot. So that's the setup guys. I'm gonna get the camera back set up. We're gonna get ready to rock. Let's go. We're gonna start up here in the upper right. Okay, we are using the Bishop Wand shader. I still think this is the best machine for shading. The way it hits, it's soft, it gives you time in the skin, definitely using that. And I'm running at 7.7 .7 volts currently. It might change and I'll let you know. So back to the game. Now I didn't clean out my needles in between that four and the two. If I want a little bit less than a two, I can just dip right into some distilled water with that two drop and it's gonna give me a lighter. And just take it nice and slow. I'm putting in my darker areas first and then we'll move up from there. Again, we're not going super hard, not going super deep. We're just slowly working, slowly working it in there. A little pendulum, a little whip. It's important you kind of get comfortable with the different techniques because you're gonna use them one after another after another um, in the same piece within the same sentence. I use several different uh, methods. I'm gonna be putting some texture in here as well, but we're not gonna mess with it. We're not gonna monkey around with the texture until most of the shading's all there, and then we'll go back with that liner and kind of put in some more textures. And hey, just wanna let you guys know, we got the new tattoo course coming out in a couple of weeks. Keep an eye open for that. We put some of the best videos together in a great place, partnering with Retrieve to make this stuff super easy to search and just a great thing, a great tool to have at your disposal at all times. So keep an eye out for that with 100% of the proceeds being donated to the local homeless shelter. Remember, if you use those lighter tones and really move them around, you get a little bit more time. Like uh, you can kind of really shape stuff and and then you can go back with a little bit of a darker tone and, and really set those in there harder. It's again why I'm starting with this lighter tone, kind of putting stuff where I want it, and then I'll go back um, as I go and just build it up a little bit more. Again, I know it might look kind of crazy right now because we don't really have much going on yet, but kind of just got to start putting the pieces in there where the shades are going to go all 
All right, now I'm gonna step it up. I'm gonna go up to an eight drop over here where I want it to be a bit darker. Now up to a 16. And I got a little bit of four, four drop in here, but it might be a little darker because I didn't really clean it out too much. These are all things you want to think about. If you're not cleaning your needle out between every different shade, so you want to kind of keep in mind like, all right, I'm going from a 16 drop. I've used most of that. Now I'm going to dip into this two drop. Well, understand you may have used most of that, but you're still going to have a little bit in there. So if you think about it, maybe you want to dip into four, but instead you dip into two because you still have a bit of dark remaining in your two. I know it's like science, but it's just a lot to keep in mind. Back into that too, just so we can add a little bit of lightness up here. All right up here, we want that now to be quite a bit darker. So we jump into some 16 drop. It's pretty dark up over here. Four four drop and a little bit of eight here and then jump over onto the other side start laying down some basic shapes and tones I mean that's really what we're doing we're putting different shades different shapes and then we're gonna just kind of keep molding it until we get what we want All right, I'm still dipping in and out of two right now. Just kind of getting my marks where I want them and then I'll kind of defining them as I go. And I don't know, that's just kind of my method a lot of times. Um, I don't know if that is from kind of how I did drawing. I don't know, can't really remember, but it's kind of what I've found works best for me.
What I like about this machine really is that it doesn't hit super hard. It's got a softer head, it bogs down in the skin. Um, at one point, I probably would not have liked this so much. And it was a little weird when I first started using this particular machine, but uh, again, I think the Bishop One shader is still, I love CNC and I love a lot of the products I've been using from them, but this is still the best shader. All right, so as you can see guys, we started over here, we jumped over here, and again, this is just a base layer we're putting in. Then we're gonna come down and finish the base layer down here, and then this will have cooled off a little bit. We'll add some darks here and there when we need it, and then we'll jump into texturing. And texturing is pretty much where we get a liner out here, and we just, well, you'll see it when we get there. So let's keep on putting our base layer down. All right, I'm in a four again. back in I'm usually I'm mostly in four and two right now because I'm not trying to go too dark I'm not trying to go super super light let's get it in there and then we'll start building it if you go too dark in one spot too early then uh, you'll have to kind of change the way you're doing things and it's not a not a necessarily a bad thing I mean I, I in a lot of ways I think um, Darkness gives depth, so if you got a lot of depth, you got a lot of depth. And it just means everything's got to be a little bit darker then to compensate. Not not the end of the world. A lot of part of the job is really rolling with the punches. I mean, we should be very much prepared and know what we're doing, obviously. But, um, again, something happens. you got to be able to react and make, it, make something out of nothing. Um, or make something out of the mistake that you made and uh, nobody likes to admit those things but mistakes happen in tattooing uh, more often than we'd like to admit but uh, the more you do it the less mistakes happen the more happy accidents Alright guys, I have now switched over to a five round liner as a bug pin. Totally different. A ten, number ten, five round liner is like a three round liner, if not smaller at times. I like them more actually. Uh, so anyhow, we're going to jump in here. I'm going to start probably with the eight drop and start putting in some of the darker spots. Reload under your control 
Alright, now I'm going to rinse out my needle here and I'm going to dip into like a four. We're going to start there and really start to put in some of the, uh, um, some of the back portions of this. Because there's a lot of little bits of texture here and, and I don't want it to be any rhyme or reason. And some we want it to be lighter than others. So we're going to put the lighter parts in first. And that's really just a matter of coming in here like a crazy person. And not really having a whole lot of rhyme or reason. Making sure you're not getting too crazy just yet, but we definitely just kind of want to go a little bit of everywhere. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some white. Not a lot, we're just gonna align the outside of this with some white, try to pop it off of the background a little bit more. I'm using a seven round shader. 